Hey there, Dave Doggett here, and I just wanted to take a few minutes today to do this little overview, tutorial, whatever you want to call it, um, because I received this email today, it's June 1st, 2016, um, that I qualified for the upgrade to ScreenFlow 6, which is kind of funny because I was one of the late adopters to ScreenFlow 5. Uh, I just upgraded to ScreenFlow 5 last week, and uh, that's why I qualified for the free upgrade to ScreenFlow 6. But anyway, ScreenFlow is an absolutely amazing piece of software. I'm, yeah, Yes, I am uh, an affiliate for Telestream, but beyond that, I use ScreenFlow virtually every single day, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to go over those points. Uh, and more importantly, I'm going to do a very quick overview of what you can find in ScreenFlow 6. Uh, so we're going to whip through this here, and then I'm going to show you a few examples of that. So there's one main feature that's down the list here that um, that I want to really go over. But initially, um, ScreenFlow typically recorded the entire screen. So everything that you could see was captured in the initial recording. You could then change the cropping of the screen and, and only show the portion that you wanted. But now ScreenFlow has a partial screen capture ability. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can just capture a part of the screen. Um, Animated GIFs, apparently they must be making a comeback, obviously for avatars and that kind of thing. Um, so they've built in the ability to quickly be able to make animated GIFs. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, Multi-channel audio mixer, recording audio and uh, tweaking it and breaking it into different audio channels. That's a huge new feature in, uh, in ScreenFlow 6. You could always record audio, but you couldn't. Um, see and record multiple audio channel inputs from a, U a USB mixer. Uh, so now you can do up to 16 discrete audio channels. Uh, animation effects, there's a few new animation effects. Um, the previous versions of ScreenFlow had some pretty decent effects uh, for animations, but um, there's a couple new ones in ScreenFlow 6, and we're going to go over that a little bit later. Um, and of course, the main feature to ScreenFlow 5, they touch on here too, uh, snapback actions, iOS recording, so you can have your iPhone can, or iPad connected to your computer and actually record the uh, mobile device screen, uh, closed caption support, chroma key, freehand callouts, and publish to more destinations. So now, interestingly enough, the main feature that uh, that I noticed is not even listed here. Uh, and I'm going to, going to go over that in just a second here. Okay, so one of the main things that I use ScreenFlow for is actually editing my podcast episodes. And these are audio podcast episodes, but I find ScreenFlow and the audio channels and tools uh, is really easy to splice and crop and do the audio editing necessary for my podcast. So that's what I use. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick example here of how you might use ScreenFlow to edit a podcast or uh, any other presentation. So, And what I've done is I've just imported the MP3 file, which makes up the, um, the podcast episode. So I'm going to start playing that. You're listening to the MaritimeGardening.com podcast, episode four. Okay, so got a little intro there. And so why I'm doing this, I want to show you eventually get up to the one of the main new features of ScreenFlow 6. So very easy. You can use other audio programs, of course, to edit, but I find ScreenFlow is just very smooth and quick to do this. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab a graphic that made up the this particular episode. Okay, so I've got that in here. All right, and I'm going to extend it. Let's say I wanted to put this episode on YouTube, which is actually something that I do want to do. Um, you can bring that artwork in here. You can scale it. You can you can crop the size of the 
what we'll call a stage area. I'm going to hit cancel to that. Um, but one of the main fe features here is, let's say you have multiple graphical elements in your media library. Now, I have worked on some absolutely massive projects in ScreenFlow with hundreds of elements in the media library and I've been waiting for this feature and the feature is the ability to replace media. This is huge. Uh, I work in After Effects and some other video editing tools to make more advanced video productions but to be able to replace the media file, I've been waiting for this to come along. So let's say, you know, I want to switch that to a different graphic. There it is there. Now before ScreenFlow 6, I would have had to drag that image out on this timeline, delete the one that was there. And if you had any special effects or transitions associated with that, you'd have to do it all over again. So this is fantastic. So right now um, I can... Uh, let's see, we will put a video action on that. I'm going to just make this thing move a little bit. So we'll start over here. I'm going to make it down. But this is absolutely ridiculous. I would never do this, uh, make it go from one side of the screen to the next. But okay, so you get the idea. It's moving. There's a few other new transitions you can do there uh, in ScreenFlow 6. But to reaffirm the point I was making, if I wanted to change that graphic, just replace media, go back to 5, and the animation, the transition, all stays the same. So that is a fantastic feature. Um, one of many, this is the first ScreenFlow 6 sort of overview uh, introduction that I've attempted. I'll be doing some more. In fact, I'm uh, considering making some screen flow templates, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, below the video, there'll be a link to where you can find out more information, a link to also my affiliate link for, to get ScreenFlow 6. You can upgrade or you can get a new copy, and that is an affiliate link and it's also here on the screen. So um, I hope that helps. ScreenFlow 6, absolutely some amazing features to uh, kick off this upgrade. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be back with some more stuff with ScreenFlow. Take care. Bye-bye.